English teacher who recently graduated from college. He was pursuing his teaching career in the French Middle East when World War II started. Now, Andre was a new teacher. He could have stayed in that nice, safe career. He could have ignored the fighting, the turmoil going on around him. He could have left that to other people. But he didn't. He stood up and he left his safe career to fight as a paratrooper with the Free French Forces in North Africa. They conducted many dangerous raids night after night and they were fighting an evil like the world had never seen before. Andre and his unit fought against the Nazis throughout North Africa, eventually joining up with the British SAS. They engaged in many heated battles. One of those nights, they went out on a raid, and it was a successful raid. They caused chaos, and they destroyed enemy forces. But on the way back, they were attacked, and Andre was killed. But that isn't the end of the story. After his death, a fellow paratrooper was going through his belongings and found a poem that he had written shortly before his death. I want to read that poem to you now. I'm asking you, God, to give me what you have left. Give me those things which others never ask of you. I don't ask you for rest or tranquility, not that of the spirit, the body, or the mind. I don't ask you for wealth or success or even health. All those things are asked of you so much, Lord, you can't have any left to give. Give me instead, Lord, what you have left. Give me what others don't want. I want uncertainty and doubt. I want torment and battle. And I ask that you give them to me now and forever, Lord, so I can be sure to always have them because I won't always have the strength to ask for them. But give me also the courage, the energy, and the spirit to face them. I ask you for these things, Lord, because I can't ask them of myself. And this poem later became known as the Paratrooper's Prayer. But when I read it, I believe this poem embodies what we as police officers stand for. That's honor through service and sacrifice. Each of the people on this wall, they answered that call. They embraced this. They served with honor. They had a commitment to service and a willingness to sacrifice. In fact, they made the ultimate honorable decision. They sacrificed their lives in service to a higher purpose. Honorable lives leave eternal legacies. May we always remember them. Thank you very much, First Lieutenant Williams. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Next up, we have a special music presentation from local artist Tommy Foster. Sun does rise, sun does set, night will fall and beckon yet, a darkness frame and evening dreams, light slips through in bits and streams. Up and down, 
fast and slow, pulled together and drawn apart, slow to quit, quick to start. Terry, nor shall I stall. I reply when I am called. The weight I carry is no weight at all. I reply when I am called. I seek peace within myself so I can grieve for someone else and I'm as fragile as I am strong and I find hope in every song Terry, nor shall I stop. I reply when I am called. The weight I carry is no weight at all. I reply when I am called. I reply when I am called. And here we are. And there we go, up and down, fast and slow. Uh, thank you, Tommy. That uh, song is an original that Tommy actually wrote uh, for this memorial service. Tommy has done this event for many, many years. We're uh, very lucky to have him. Uh, I give special thanks to Tommy for his continued support. Uh, Tommy's father passed away last week, but he wouldn't even consider canceling tonight's event. It, uh, it means a lot to him, and he means a lot to a lot of us. So our deepest sympathies regarding your father, Tommy. And once again, a very special thank you. Next up, I'd like to call uh, Muskegon Heights Police Chief Maurice Sane to do the roll call of officers on our memorial. If there are any family members here, please come on up and meet your department escort. It'll be over here to my left-hand side uh, for the flower presentation. Detail, attention. Detail, attention. Josiah C. Hazeltine, Muskegon County Sheriff's Office, end of watch 11 15 Julius A. Salmonson, Department of Natural Resources, end of watch 11 15 1908. Martin Salmonson, Department of Natural Resources, end of watch, 11 15, 1908.
Charles D. Hammond, Muskegon Police Department, end of watch, 10-31-1925. William F. Delmar, Roosevelt Park Police Department, end of watch, 10-1-1966. Charles B. Stark. Michigan State Police, end of watch, 12 31 1971. Johnny O. Harris. Muskegon Heights Police Department, end of watch, 06-25-1975. Craig a. Scott, Michigan State Police Department, end of watch, 0209-1982. Marion J. Calkins, Muskegon County Sheriff's Office, end of watch 4 6 1982. Scott A. Flayhive. Grand Haven Department of Public Safety, end of watch 12 13 1994. Hi. Ernest W. Heikala, Muskegon County Sheriff's Office. End of watch, 12-15 of Jonathan W. R. Ginka, Norton Shores Police Department, end of watch 5 10 2017. 